Hello, Homestead, and please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Hello Homestead, I'm Haley Steed. And I'm Sarah Mishraf. And on today's edition of HHS In Depth, reporter Sam Carroll tells us all about JCL. Jordan Bussey recaps last Saturday's Fall Festival of Bands at Homestead. And Ryan Nutter brings you another edition of The Nut House. All of that and more on HHS In Depth for Friday, October 10th. What I feel, I can't say. We start today's show with a feature over the Homestead High School Club, JCL. Here's reporter Sam Carroll with the story. You may have heard announcements this year for an unfamiliar extracurricular acronym called JCL, but there's more to Junior Classical League than its abbreviation. Uh, so JCL is basically our Latin club. Um, it's for students who have taken Latin or are currently taking Latin. Um, it's a, an organization that does a couple of different things. It's an academic, but also there are creative arts elements to it as well. Um, and every year we go to a state convention where students participate in academic contests, graphic arts, creative contests, and a bunch of different things. Um, but we also do activities throughout the year, like service projects and uh, general parties as well. JCL has something for everyone, and the flexibility of its schedule makes sure this nature is continued. The thing I like about JCL is its flexibility with my schedule. Um, I'm a publicity officer for um, JCL, and that's one of the competitions we compete in in state. And it's sort of it's sort of nice that I can still do other activities. I'm in band and that t takes up a lot of my time in the fall. It's sort of nice that I can still have another outlet to go to and be social with other friends. Um, in JCL, there's really something for everyone. Um, we do competitions locally at state and then you have opportunities to do national competitions. And there our academic competitions, which is our Kertaman, our Quiz Bowl team, but there are also graphic art competitions at state, and there's dramatic interpretations, there's oratories, on national level there's even athletic competitions. If you're interested in joining a society that shares a common love of the Latin language, feel free to stop by room 607 monthly on Tuesdays for JCL. For HHS In Depth, I'm Sam Carroll. Items from the Lost and Found will be displayed outside the Discipline Office today. Please claim any items that you have misplaced. Are you taking the SAT or ACT soon and want to increase your score? The SAT ACT prep class will begin a new session on Wednesday, October 15th for verbal and Thursday, October 16th for math. Classes run for six weeks from 5.30 to 7.30 in the evening. You can sign up for one or both sessions and you can find forms in Student Services or with Mr. Staley in room 517. Seniors, if you have scheduled a college visit or job shadow for PSAT day on October 15th, do not forget to submit your permission form with a parent signature. These forms must be submitted by the end of school today, or your parents may call the attendance line and provide the same information before Wednesday, October 15th. Only one option is required, the form or the phone call. Juniors and seniors, a representative from the following colleges will be at Homestead to meet with interested students. If you would like to attend a meeting, please sign up in Student Services and get your pass at least one day prior to the visit. Monday, October 13th, Taylor University. 
Tuesday, October 14th, Wittenberg, Defiance College, Xavier, and Hope College. Thursday, October 16th, University of Alabama, and Friday, October 17th, University of Mount Union. Didn't make it out to last weekend's Fall Festival of Bands? No worries, here's reporter Jordan Bussey with a look back at what you missed. I'm Jordan Bussey for HHS In-Depth, reporting on the Fall Festival that took place last Saturday. I got a chance to talk to Savannah Rodocker about the Fall Festival. She is a junior in the front ensemble of the marching band. Tell me about how you all did in the Fall Festival. Fall Festival is basically just a whole bunch of bands around the state coming to Homestead to perform and compete. And although Homestead performs at the very end, we do not compete, we just get scored. And this weekend we got a really high score and so we were very proud of that. What improvements still need to be made? Um, the ending of part four, we just added a whole bunch of music and drill, and we just need to work on tempo and timing, and then we'll be good. Tell me about your competitions this year. This year, our competition season has been very good, and we're um, striving to get a first place championship in state and hopefully make it to finals in BOA. What is BOA? BOA is Bands of America, so that's all the bands of America coming to Lucas Oil and performing. How does the band feel about going to nationals? Um, we're very excited, and we just can't wait, and we're just very hopeful that we'll make it there. I also got to talk to Courtney Brin, a senior in the Color Guard. What steps are the Color Guard taking to prepare for state and nationals? The practices have intensified a lot since last year. Like, we used to go inside and stretch every once in a while, but now it's just all band practice with the band outside doing run-throughs. Tell me about the theme this year and how it is embodied through the Color Guard. Our show is called Dance of the Wind Spirits, and it's embodied through the Color Guard because we're the wind spirits or fairies, and we wear wings for most of the show. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Jordan Bussey. Hey Spartans, is your stomach growling for lunch already? Good news, SAD will be selling Nelson's famously delicious chicken and potatoes immediately after school today. Come early, these tasty meals will go quick. Unexpected kindness is the most powerful, least costly, and most underrated agent of human change. Attention Spartans, you are invited to join the students and teachers of the network on Monday, October 13th after school in room 108 for a random acts of kindness challenge. Anime Club will be having a meeting on Monday, October 13th in Mr. Cogdell's room, room 725. There you will be playing improv and the meeting will start after school and end around 3.30. Next week, a canned food drive takes place here at Homestead. Here's reporter Logan Bussey with the story. I'm Logan Bussey reporting for HHS In Depth and here's Ms. Ham with some information about Monday's canned food drive. Hi, it's that time again for the FCCLA canned food drive. We are working with Community Harvest Food Bank. I called them today and they are in need of peanut butter, canned meat, which we don't have, canned uh, fruit, canned vegetables. Do we have any of those? I don't think so. They serve 250,000 pounds a week to over 21,000 people, and they are running low on milk also. However, we do not want you to bring in milk because it would spoil. So if you want to bring in money for every $2, we will count that as uh, how many? Six cans? Six cans of food. So you can have money and collect uh, cans. The other thing, please look at the expiration date. Uh, last year we had a couple of cans that were from 1987 that expired in 1987. 1987, if this tells you anything, I was in high school, so that's old. So don't bring that. What this is, you bring it to the first period. It's a first period contest, and the first period class that wins the overall, last year was Dr. Price. He had so many cans, and Mr. Watkins had tons of cans. He should have won, but he had more students, so it's per student. Uh, they will win a homemade breakfast, and I'm talking amazing breakfast. Chocolate pancakes with strawberries and homemade whipped cream. We'll have eggs and bacon and uh, hash browns and all this kind of stuff. Orange juice, your first period class will get that for the winning thing. We want... This was the goal last year, or this is how many cans we got last year, 4,367. We want to beat that. It was amazing to see the truck full of cans last year. 
I don't know how many of you by fifth period, you're feeling hungry. Right now while you're watching this, you're feeling a little hungry. That is not the kind of hunger we're talking about. Some people have no idea when their next meal's coming from. So I want you please to reach out and get into your pantry, ask your parents and bring in the cans and we will be giving updates and we will be doing this starting next week on Monday. Tuna in later for more information. Homestead sophomores and juniors will be taking the PSAT exam on October 15th next week. Some students think of this as a practice exam, but it is much more than that. It is important that you understand that PSAT scores are used to determine which Homestead students are qualified to take free dual credit courses. A dual credit class is one that lets you earn college credit at the same time you are satisfying your high school graduation requirements. So please take the PSAT test seriously as it could save you thousands of dollars in the future. Attention gymnasts, any and all girls that are not currently on a fall team, conditioning for gymnastics has started and you are to meet in the 9th grade academy gym on Monday through Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And now here is another edition of The Nut House with your host, Ryan Nutter. Oh, hey there, Homestead. Did you know in 1967, the Pacers field goal average 45.8%? I didn't know that either. Welcome to The Nut House. Are you ready for this? We're ready. Tennis is ready. We're ready for this. Y'all ready for this? This week I didn't work with any of the sports teams, but I had Nick Anderson scheduled to come in and talk to me and tell me about the game tonight. But I guess he's too cool to show up. Bruh, I'm right here. No, you're not. I'm looking right there. Dude, I didn't even see you there. What's up? Oh yeah, it's probably because I'm wearing camo. And that's the theme tonight of the game. 7 o'clock, so be there. Alright, heard it here first. Game tonight, 7 o'clock. Camo theme. On a more serious note, good luck to the cross country teams tomorrow as they begin sectionals. This month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so look out next week. We will be selling buttons, ribbons, and t shirts, and on Fridays, we will be selling bagels. That was the Nut House. And now, here is HHS ID reporter Drake White with a new segment called Homestead Picture of the Week. Hey Homestead, this is Drake White reporting for HHS In-Depth and this week we're going to start a new feature on HHS In-Depth called Homestead's Picture of the Week. You can submit any original art or picture you've taken in the last few weeks to drake.white at students.sacs.k12.in.us. You're going to send that email with the file attached with the picture obviously and then your name, full name, and your grade for your chance to be featured on HHS In-Depth for Every week, you can submit anything that has to do with Fort Wayne Homestead or just anything you've taken around this time, and we'll uh, decide which one's going to be on for this week's HHS In Depth. And here's this week's picture. Well, that wraps up this edition of HHS In Depth. I'm Haley Steed. And I'm Sarah Mershreff. Have a great weekend, Spartans, and be sure to get out and support Homestead High School students participating in athletic events and other activities this weekend. Today, we leave you with a song that can only be heard on Homestead's radio station, The Point 91 FM. See you next week. <laughs>